For the best value in domain names, look no further than Namecheap, where you could get domains for as low as $3.98, plus get one year of Who Is Guard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Quite often when we think about Linux, we think about the sheer amount of flexibility and freedom that we have to make our Linux operating system our own. Now in Windows 10, you could definitely change the way that your operating system looks by downloading different theme and icon packs. And to a certain extent, you can even change the way it operates underneath. Now on something like Apple's Mac OS or iOS, not so much because Apple likes to keep a consistent look and feel and they also like to control the way their operating system operates. Now whenever it comes to Linux, there are no limitations. You're only limited by the amount of time that you want to spend in customizing your overall experience. Now on a previous episode, I did talk about how you can change the way your operating system looks by simply going through the built-in themes tool. However, today we're going to go a little bit further because I wanted to show you how you could change the way you have your Linux Mint experience. Okay, so this here, this is what we're normally used to in Linux Mint. But what I'm using right now is also Linux Mint. But the difference between the two is night and day. And that's why I absolutely love the fact that you can control and change your experience to whatever suits you best. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our virtual machine. Okay, so this is how Linux Mint looks whenever you install it. This is the Cinnamon interface and it is uh, based upon GNOME. And so it is, I would say, a very functional and fast interface. However, it's not exactly the most eye-catching okay so the site that you want to go to is gnome-look.org or you could go to the main parent type called opendesktop.org and when you get here there's going to be so many different things that you could do you could download different themes extensions uh, different cursors wallpapers screenshots clocks even there's so many things that you could do but we're going to just focus on gtk3 themes and icon themes okay and what GTK stands for is the GIMP toolkit okay so I've already downloaded a few of them okay but I wanted to show you how to uh, actually get these themes working on your operating system okay now when you come here you can look at the latest themes and the community is constantly uh, contributing new themes and icons and it is an absolutely awesome community so support that maybe you can or you could go to the most popular okay so if you find a theme that you like, you could click on it or if you want to, you could actually click on the username and you could actually see all the various themes and icons that they created or you could go directly to their GitHub account, which is usually where the actual themes and icons are stored. OK, so if you click here, you will go to their GitHub page and most of the time it'll come directly to the theme or icon. OK, but sometimes it doesn't. OK, so that's why. If you were to download themes and icons here, um, it's going to take a little bit of work. You know, you're going to have to actually read through a lot of these. Okay, so and not all of them actually have the same look and feel. Okay, so like if I click on this person's right here, um, see they have a lot more themes and it looks different. Okay, so you could, but you kind of get the point. Okay, so so say for example, you know, I went here and you would go to repositories if you're not very familiar with github this could kind of be uh, confusing at the beginning but uh, you know after you use it a few times you'll understand how it works so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna download a theme okay and I'm gonna download an icon pack okay and so like I said this might not be as intuitive at the beginning and for some of them if you click on it it'll go directly to the github page uh, with the actual theme okay or the icon okay so like I said you're gonna have to play around with it and kind of get used to it so let's go ahead and, and uh, download this I've already downloaded it but I just want to show you the process when you click on it so this might be a little confusing at first there's branch sometimes there's image sometimes there's master normally I just choose master and I download the whole thing and what it'll do is it'll download a zip file and it'll download everything here okay and so let me go here real quick and so like I said I've already downloaded some so right here I've downloaded these theme 
and also this icon from this uh, particular creator right here okay and I have it right here I've also downloaded some other themes okay in general okay in general all you have to do is just unzip it okay or extract it okay so for this particular theme I downloaded the shadow theme I just right clicked on my mouse extract right here and then here's the folder okay and the same thing for the icon master I just extract it here now one thing you want to do when you actually get these look at the readme file okay they actually have instructions and even on the website themselves normally they will have some really good instructions for you to follow okay so be sure to read it that's why I say it's gonna require a little bit more effort okay so be sure you read through that and because here uh, if you didn't go through the readme file and you're not familiar with this you might not get it working correctly like for example this icon they actually have four different icons you know four different icon designs okay whereas their theme it's just this entire folder okay so let me show you how to get this theme um, on to your operating system so once you've extracted the theme you could actually have two ways in which you can use this theme you could either have the theme and icon shared by everybody who uses your operating system meaning you have multiple users on your operating system or you could only have it to be used for just your user account okay so I'm going to show you both ways so if you wanted these icons and themes to be available to everyone who uses your operating system uh, you could actually open this folder right here okay go to file system go to user go to share okay so here you're gonna see two different folders okay one of them is the icon folder okay so right here icons you see all these folders with names so you could simply just copy these folders over here okay but one thing I want to mention this is actually owned by root okay so you just cannot copy and paste okay so let me show you so if I try to copy this and I try to paste it won't let me okay so how you would do that is in my opinion the easiest way uh, just go ahead and go to the share again and then let's go to the icon folder okay but instead of double clicking and open it okay the easiest way to do this right click and then open this root put in your password okay so now you actually have the permission to actually you know uh, manipulate this folder okay so here you could actually copy and then you could paste okay but I'm not gonna do that here okay so if you do that you will be able to share this particular icon with everybody who use your operating system and similarly you could do the same thing for your theme as well so if you go here there's another folder called themes just open as root and you could copy whatever theme in this case this folder right here okay now for me I just like to save my icon and theme for my particular user account okay and so um, there is a way that you can do that and it's similar to this okay so let's go ahead and close these so if you go to your home folder okay and you do view show hidden files it'll show these other files with the dot in front of it so there's one called dot icons and I've already copied all these icons over and there's also another folder called dot themes okay and I've already copied this over here so this will make the theme and icon only available to your user account okay it won't be available to anyone else okay so that's entirely up to you but I just wanted to show you the two different ways okay so now if you actually went to settings right here and you go to themes now if you click on Windows borders there's like four different areas in which you can change the way Linux Mint works okay uh, through the theme manager obviously you could go more complex than that but this is the easiest way so if you go to Windows borders see you'll notice the new theme OS X Arc Shadow Master which is what I downloaded here and which is what I copied over to my dot themes folder okay so here let's go ahead and choose that and see it already changes 
my actual border up here okay so let me show you that again so let's go back to the original one see it looked like that and now it looks like this I think a lot more colorful for sure so let's go ahead and go to icons and you remember we had arc OS okay right there arc OS arc OSP paper and paper model dart so here arc OS more of a blue color and it even changes your menu as well different icons okay and you could also choose arc OSP okay little different or you could go with the paper right there it's more of a gray tone okay um, I myself I like the arc OS D okay OS X and then here if you go to controls uh, you'll also see another part of the OSX Shadow Master theme let's go ahead and choose that as well so now it has this really cool looking darker theme nice okay so and then right here your desktop there's the Arc Shadow Master desktop theme let's go ahead and click that wow look at how different that looks now okay and I really feel that uh, it looks better with this theme so everything looks flatter it's cleaner okay and it's just easier to see and honestly it just looks cool okay and so that is it that's pretty much in general how you would actually go download new themes and icon packs and sometimes you get things like this okay where it's not entirely 100 percent okay but um, you might want to play around with it as well if it doesn't fit your needs but as you can see there, everything just looks really cool. I love the way this looks. Um, it's super clean. And, you know, it really does change up the way your operating system, you know, operates. Okay, I, I know that sounds funny, but look, see, sometimes when you see weird stuff like that, just restart your browser. And now it has the new theme installed and everything looks excellent. Okay, so that's it for this particular episode. I hope that, you know, with this newfound you know world of customization in Linux and you know you have the ability to absolutely change the way your operating system looks and just you know if you wanted to spruce things up wanted to make things more exciting you can do that you know without anybody controlling the way that it looks okay so if you had any thoughts on customization in Linux um, or any other operating system be sure to leave it in the comments area below and if you did get value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.